Spirit lead us, Lord, to your truth. May your name be magnified in us. And uh, may we learn, Lord, all the lessons that you want us to learn today so that uh, we can live a life that is worthy and that is pleasing in your sight. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory in Christ's most precious name. We pray. Amen. <clears throat> Normally, I am not pressured to, to preach, but since WT told me, please, Pastor, speak in English so that we can catch something. I will try. Okay, okay. Okay. I will tell you the points, but the body of it. Mm. Mm. Your, your, your dad will explain it to you. Would that be fair for you? <laughs> but, but, kung, kung mama niyo po sa aking, uh, live stream, aking, uh, usually po uh, siya, kung mga 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 uh, so, nakasanayan on my part, nakasanayan ko na gano'n and uh, sometimes the, 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 the message the, 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 the real point I, I I can express it I think in my mind thinking more clearly in English than in Filipino Mrs. Mm-hmm. Aldo magkakapa ako dyan Ano nga ba sa Tagalog yun? Sisuli, kini ko And I'm asking my wife, who is not a Tagalog? Ano, paano ko sa'yo? Ask me in Visaya, then I can tell you. But, but, but that, that, is, that is usually, that is usually how I preach. Uh, and I, 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 I usually take a long time preaching. <laughs> so, so, masanay po kayo ngayon, kumbaga, no, uh, uh, I will try my best to, to limit yung aking uh, uh, pagsasalita, and since I am speaking in, I will be preaching in English, so it would be more concise. Siguro mas naigit, mag-pray niya. Ah, mag-English na lang si Pastor, para mahirapan siya mag-English. <laughs> I entitled it the work of God in us. The work of God in us. Uh, pag, 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 pasensyahan niyo po ako, pardon me, if ever uh, uh, I will use my Bible, I will, if I, I want to emphasize, if itataas ko yung aking Bible, ganyan, but, but I will be reading here. Pag pasensyahan niyo po na yun, kasi this is the thing, nakita niyo na po kung gaano kapag itong aking salamin. Mm. Uh, ito po aking Bible ay hindi siya large print. It's not a large print Bible, but I try in a large print Bible and, and, and the words or the, the letters of the words got, uh, uh, gets so mixed up. Yung, yung letter po, say any Bible letter is like this, no? The, the, the Bible world. W-O-R-L-D. Pag, pag ako ang titingin yan, you can read it, pag ako ang titingin, kahit large print, ganyan na siya. Ganyan, ganyan, that is how my eyes, how how my eyes is, how worse my eyesight is. So, anyway, but, he, he, so please pardon me kung sa aking ano po, yung aking, uh, pag, nag, ano, nag, nagbabasa ako ng scripture na limbawa, ay, dito ko binabasa sa aking notes sa ano kasi sa aking notes I can just do this and, and so I can easily read it easily read it uh, uh, mas mas madali sa aking magbasa anyway so our our, our uh, scripture reading earlier in Luke chapter 24 verse 45 to 48 
this is that moment in time, that moment in history of the Christian church, where Jesus Christ is about to leave the earth. He is about to, to enter heaven. They were gathered in, 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 the, in the Mount of Olives and then they, they, the, 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 the Lord is saying his like uh, what we call a last will and testament. But the last will and testament is for the dead. So I cannot say that, that it's, it really is the Lord's last will and testament because he just rose again. Man. So this is not a last will and testament. Basically, we call this the commission, the great commission. This, this is the, the work that God has given us. Mm -hmm. so we see here that the Lord says in verse 45, then open he their understanding. Then open he their understanding. That they might understand the scripture. So why is that? Why is that? The last time, uh, the last, the very moment na naaalis na ang Panginoon sa lupa, bakit ganun pa rin ang, 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 ang ano ng Panginoon? Why is He driving that, that point to the disciples, to the, the apostles that you have to understand what the scripture is saying? You, you know why? If you read to in Matthew, describing this, I mean, the uh, telling this same story, this this same uh, situation, where in Matthew says, some doubted. Mm -hmm. Some of the disciples that, that saw Jesus Christ that day are doubting. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord cannot, the Lord cannot leave the, the church, the, 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 the people of God, with doubts in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And so he settled their hearts and says, um, understand the scripture. Mm -hmm. He opened their understanding that they might understand the scripture. He, he reiterated this. Remember what the, the scripture has, written, well, has said? He says there, thus it is written in Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer. He reminded of the, the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Why did I die? Because that is what the scripture has demanded. Mm -hmm. why, am I, I, why are we here today? Gathered today. Why? Because that is what the scripture has demanded. The, the scripture has, has already said that to us, mm -hmm. to the people of God. Ito lang yung kaganapan na ngayon. Mm -hmm. Nangyayari na yung sinabi na sa scripture. Mm -hmm. God already said it. And it's just happening today. And, and, and the people, some of the disciples, is having the hard time of uh, realizing it. Remember the, the remember the disciples the first day na bumangon ng Panginoon? They, they went to Emmaus, the, the travel pa sila, and then, then, then sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, ano ngayari? Are you new here? Did, did you know what happened? And then the door actually rebuked them that, that day when the, 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 the travels is a uh, mouse at ang sabi ng Panginoon and hindi nyo ba nalaman na sinabi sa scripture the first day of his uh, rising from the, the grave the Lord already uh, reminded them about what the scripture had said and then the 40 days na nandito ang Panginoon, dwelling with them, the Lord remind them of the Holy, the, the Holy Scriptures. 
And then here na, okay, I'm, I'm, red, I'm about to deform. Still, remember what the scripture has said. Remember what is written. Because that is the thing that the, the people of God tends to forget. That's the problem. Now, going forward, going forward, says, and sabi ng Panginoon, he, it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead at the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in His name among all nations. The repentance of sin, or the repentance and remission of sin, should be preached in His name among all nations, among all nations around the world, and said, beginning at Jerusalem, starting with the apostles, and ye are witnesses of these things. Now that very word, the witnesses. This is not just the disciples and the apostles who saw Jesus Christ rising from, from the earth up to the heavens. It is all of us, to all of us, to those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are called witnesses of His sacrifice on the cross, of His burial, and of His resurrection. We are His witnesses. We, the, the first witnesses, the apostles, preached the gospel, and, and those that heard the gospel received it, lived it, and preached it to another, and preached it to another, and preached it to another, and it reaches the gig. Amen. You heard it, and now we are witnessing, and we should be testifying about it. And that is the very work of God in us. Ito po sabi ni Pablo sa kanyang uh, uh, sulat. Uh, uh, yung if I preach the gospel, I preach the gospel, though I, no, though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory. I, I don't have anything to glory on because it, a necessity is laid upon me. A necessity is laid upon me. May pangangailangan na ibinigay sa akin. Parang ganito lang. Para maintindihan na ang tamo ng, uh, ng matindi, kumbaga. Pakuha niyo yung illustration nito. Uh, 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 a necessity is laid upon me. Sa bahay po natin, Diba? Ta tayo kumakain, di ba? Pagkakain, may hugasin. May ligpitin. Di ba? So yung ligpitin na yun, sinong gagawa? Sinong gagawa? Magtuturuan ba tayo? O magtsadyak yung poy ba tayo? Di ba? Sa bahay natin, at ako, yung luwa. Nung, nung maliit pa ako, na parang si Joe and WP, I was, I was uh, given a charge to wash the dishes every lunch. Every lunch. So, ikaw yan. Trabaho ko yun. And then, as I grew up, as I grew up, ito na ako ngayon. May asawa na ako. Pwede makain kami, ako ang maghuhugas ng plato. <laughs> that is my, the necessity is laid upon me. <laughs> Parang gano'n. Kasi, kailangan ng asawa kong magtrabaho, pagod siya sa trabaho, ay lang. Pagpahingahin ko na. Tulong ko na sa, tra- sa, sa misis ko yun na nagtrabaho ko maghapon. But, but, ang, 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 ang shining light sa akin, Ah, si Julia, malaki na. <laughs> She's already 10 years old. <laughs> She's about to be taller than 
Ini. Wah, eh kalau si David ni dah dah sojo tu. Maybe the next time that I see you, I will be looking at you. That that is what happened to me when Daniel Daniel left here. Daniel Tessin, he she left here yes. like like Joe. And then we visited Cebu. What happened to you? <laughs> Why are you like that? <laughs> what did you eat? Kada sa atin kada. Lupat na ko ba ng isang penilar ng star? Di ba? Tayo mga mga pinoy na hindi diyan natin na di ba? Lakim star. I don't know if Marjan knows it, but but here. There is this margarine that uh, says, eat it and you will grow. <laughs> eat it and you will grow. Yung mga, yung mga millennials, growing na ngayon sila. Hindi na sila mantikilya. Sirup na sila eh. <laughs> anyway, ganyan. A necessity is laid upon me. And I, I have to wash the dishes. Now I have to train someone to wash the dishes for me. <laughs> no, no, hindi <laughs> gano'n. Kasi I am a father, I have to teach my, my daughter how to, to clean the house, wash the dishes, even cook. Kasi I have to, as a parent, we have to train her dyan sa bagay niya. Mm-hmm. I, I see children, I see children, and na, na, ano yan, nababagabag ako. Pagka ang sasabihin niya, pag-ugasan mo nga yung prato, ah, ayaw ko, ako na lang. Mm-hmm. It bothers me a lot mm-hmm. that children will talk back to their parents that, oh, si kuya naman. It's good. Nagtuturoan. Why? Because they did not understand that the necessity mm-hmm. that, that is being laid upon them. Mm-hmm. Hindi nila natindihan niyo. Now, as Christians, we should learn this. There is a necessity that is laid upon us by the Lord. What is that necessity? That repentance and remission of sin should be preached in His name among all nations. That necessity, yung pangangailangan na yun, ay pahalag na, pahayag ang salita ng Panginoon, is given to us. Kanina sa aming uh, service, we talked about, kaya nakatapos na kayo ng Exodus eh. We just started Exodus. Nandun pala kami kay Moses at sinasabi niya, No, no Lord, huwag ako. Three times sinabi niya sa Panginoon, Huwag ako. Hindi ako marunong magsalita. Uh, ano yung first na sinabi niya? Uh, uh, I am not eloquent. Hindi ako marunong magsalita. Utal ako eh. Uh, tapos sabi niya uh, ano ba yung sabi niya? So, three times yun na ano eh Lord, iba na lang iba na lang ah, hindi ka, hindi ako papakinggan that was the first hindi na ako papakinggan, they will not listen to me Lord so, the Lord says oh, how can you show this show them this, miracles and they will believe you I am the Lord, I, I am not I don't I cannot speak. Uh, as I said earlier, I realized when 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 Moses is saying this, he's like he, he was talking to the Lord. He says, "Lord, but when you say Lord, it means whatever He says, you do, because He's the Lord." Yeah. Ah, Diba? Pag sabi ko, overtime ka ngayon ha? Hindi, ang baba ko dyan, eight hours lang ako. Pwede ba sabihin yun sa boss mo? Masi something ha? Diba? Pero, here, the, the, the funny thing is, Moses says, the Lord says, I will send you Moses, and Moses says, not me, Lord. No, Lord. They will not believe me. No, Lord. I don't have, I don't have the ability. See, ang sabi ng Panginoon, sino pa gumawa ng bibig mo? Who, who, who made your mom? And, 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 and remember, the Lord was so angry at, at, at Moses because he is trying to, to uh, 
shy away or ayaw niya ng responsibility. The necessity that is being laid upon him, he is trying to ignore. And, and, and we Christians, this is our problem. We are ignoring the necessity that is being laid upon us. That is our problem. So, we should point this out. Kailangan natin tong gampanan. We have to do this because this is laid upon us. So, how do we do this? We, you have to remember the work of God in us. This is not your work. As I told you, Moses earlier. That is the, the redemption that, that Israel got in Exodus is not the redemption from or the redemption that is work of Moses. It's not the work of Moses. Moses was just an instrument of God. It is a redemption from God. A redemption that came from God through Moses. So the preaching of the gospel today, the, the, the repentance and remission of sin being preached to all the nations is a work of the Lord. It's a work of the Lord. But through whom? Yun ang tanong. Through whom? Sa so, pangagitan nino? Yung katrabaho mo kuya. Hindi ko kalala yun eh. Ma- ma- maabot ko ba sa kanya ang ibang helyo? Masasabi ko ba sa kanya Alam mo, kapatid, alam mo, kaibigan, mahal ng Diyos ang sanlibutan. At ang sanlibutan ito ay papunta sa impyerno. Pero, binigay niya ang kanyang buktong na anak para hanguin sa impyerno ang sino man na, na mananampalatay sa kanya. Can I say it to your katrabaho? Not unless you bring him here. Mm-hmm. Not unless you talk to him or talk to her. Sa ating mga magula, hindi ko makilala mga nanay at tatay niyo. Can I talk to them? No. Who can talk to them? You. So, to whom the necessity lies, it is laid upon who? Me? Upon Pastor Bill? No! The necessity is laid upon us. Each of us. It, it's, the necessity is laid upon you. Upon you. Upon me. Upon all of us. May iba-iba tayong taong makikita eh, na namimit every day. Hindi responsibilidad ni Pastor Bill na i-preach ang gospel o i-share ang gospel sa mga kaibigan ko, sa mga kapitbahay ko. Hindi niya responsibilidad yun. Responsibilidad ko yun. As much as hindi ko responsibilidad ang, ang, ang pamilya ni Pastor Bill, ang kanyang mga kaibigan, ang kanyang kapitbahay, hindi ko responsibilidad yun. Hindi ko naman nakikita, hindi ko makakasalubong, hindi ko naman sila nakikita. Responsibility di Pastor Bill yun. The same thing sa ating lahat. A necessity is laid upon each and every one of us. So now, we have to understand this. And we have to grasp the magnitude of this. Yung kabigatan nito. Sabi nga doon sa sinabi ko kanina, sinabi ni Pablo. Paul said, Woe is unto me. Sa Tagalog, sa Aba ko. Woe is, unto me. Uh, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Ang, 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 uh, woe, sabi na yun, sa aba ko, it's like saying, sa ating ngayon, sa mga malinyas, mas maintindihan natin when you say, lagot ako, pag hindi ko ipinangaral ng ibang ito. This is a responsibility. Now, kagaya na kanina, 
maghugas ka ng plato. Ikaw ang may ikaw ang nakaresponsibilidad ng na maghugas ng plato. Pag hindi ka naghugas ng plato, paano na? Paano na sa susunod na pagkain? Paano na yung mga ipis na gumagapang doon? Nagagapang doon. Paano na? Kasi iwan mo lang yun dyan dyan. Sa sasasi. O what will happen? Maipisin talaga yan. Diba? The devil can do me all in, in your house, in your in your community, in your workplace. Ayaw why? Kasi ang mga ipis daw, a picture na sa dilim. Wala kang makikita ng kumay. Yung pag-alagala dyan na ipis. Kasi maliwanag eh. Aksidente lang yun. Makita kami yun. Nanligaw lang yun. Para siguro nakuyat yung mga lang. Asa na ako? Bakit maliwanag dito? Ang ipis, nahihigyan, mahilig yan sa dilim. Kaya mga lagi yun. Sa mga singit-singit na madilim. Di ba? Ganyan yan. Ang demonyo na sa kadiliman yan eh. Ang mundong ito, balot ng kadiliman. So, I hope nakita nyo yung ano, kung bakit ipis ang ginamit ko na illustration. <laughs> they, they live. They, they try in darkness. And we are the lights of the world that the Lord Jesus Christ left here. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. But He is now in heaven and He has given us the charge. Preach repentance the remission of sin into all the world. Yung liwanag na yun ni Cristo, iniwan na sa atin. Kaya, ka, kaya ako at ikaw ay iniligtas. Hindi ikaw iniligtas ng Panginoon para lang umupo sa upo na yan. To fill the empty chairs in the church. No, 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 sir. We are called to be the light of the world. Para yung ipis mag-alabasan sa mundo hindi wala ng salita ng Panginoon should shine from us. So, realize this. The work of God in us. Number one is that God sends the power that changed us. And if you will look yan sa Luke chapter 24, yung kasunod niyan. Luke chapter 24 verse 49. Ang sabi niya? And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. The promise of my Father. Ano yun? It's the Holy Spirit. But tabi ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye end and do and and you with power from on high. The Holy Spirit. The power on the high. It is God living in us. It is the seal of our salvation. It, 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 is, it is the power that changed us. Kasi, ano yung change nito? It's, 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 it's light and day. Sinner into saints. Makasalanan tayo. Anak tayo ng demonyo. We are sons of the devil. But God has changed us. By His grace, we have been given forgiveness through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and we are changed from darkness into light as far as the east is from the west that is how far sin is from us God made that change it is uh, Sabi ng uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, ito yung uh, the, same, the same situation. This is the same uh, event. Jesus Christ is about to, siguro ito na yung ano, ito na yung, oh, akin na ako ng langit. Ito na, yung, yung aangatin na ako ng ano, baka, baka, baka paangat na nga sa Panginoon nito eh, habang sinasabi niya ito. Sabi niya, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, where, where does the preaching of the gospel begins? In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem and in 
in all Judea. So, hindi lang sa Jerusalem, sa all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the outermost part of the earth. See? God sends us that power. So, realize this. God, this, the work is not ours, it's God's. And He has, he has given us the tools that we need. He, he sends us the Holy Spirit Amen. to bring us that, that wonderful change. Since Jesus came into my heart, what a wonderful change in my life has been brought. That is that power that changes us, the Holy Spirit in us. Second, as a changed man, we have to realize this, as a changed man, we have to make a conscious effort to conform to His holiness. We have to conform to His holiness. Remember, remember what the, 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 the scripture was written? Huwag kayong magduda. Yan ang minano ng Panginoon dito sa mga disipulo doon. That very moment. So, do not doubt. It is already written. Na anong kaugnayan nito? What was written in the scripture? Anong kaugnayan nito? That as a church man, I have to make a conscious effort to conform to His holiness. Let's go back to the scripture. What did the Lord say? Inoke yun ni Peter. Si Peter, one of the apostles of the Lord present on that day. And he says, Wherefore give up the loins of your minds in 1 Peter 1, 13 to 16. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ will be revealed back again someday as obedient children not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manners of conversation, because it is written. See? Peter learned his lesson. Peter learned his lesson. Look back at the scripture, what is written? It is written, be ye holy for I am. Holy, says the Lord. So, as a changed man, we have to be conformed with the holiness of God. Sisi ko, Pastor, bakit? Ang bigat naman natin yan. But, kasi lang simple lang ganito yan eh. Say, sabihin ko sa inyo, alam nyo sa gym namin, gaganda ang katawan mo. So, pag punta kayo sa gym namin, maniniwala kayo sa akin? Sa gym namin? Gagaya ka ako. Oh, diba? <laughs> Nalaking katatawan. I will be a, uh, I will be a laughing stock if I say, my gym is the best gym in all the world. It will make your body perfect. Wow. <laughs> but, but, dahil, hindi na ako makahinga because I'll be pretending. <laughs> diba? Kung ikaw ay tunay na kristyano, this is, this is, eh, kailangan to. This is a necessity. Why? Because you represent Christ. The name of Christ is given to you. You are a Christian. Yung, 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 yung Christ yun, Christ. Do not forget that. So we are carrying the, the name of the Lord. And then sabi ng Panginoon, what is written? Thou shalt not use the name of the Lord in vain. I do not, uh, I, sabi ko sa inyo, mabigat itong responsibilidad na ito na binitingatang ng Panginoon sa atin. Pero He has the power, He, to, to, he gave us the power. Kakayanin natin to because the Holy Spirit is in us. But I have to be careful. I am carrying the name of the Lord. Christian ako. 
Tagasunod ako ni Yesu Cristo. And then I will live my life para kung makikita ko ng tao dyan paglabas ko dito. Diretso ako sa beer house. Oh, okay. Paglabas ko dito, may kaaway na ako agad at sinisinghalan ko. O, paglabas ko dito, lahat ng pitakan yun, natangay ko na. <laughs> Di ba? Ano-ano na lang? Ano na lang sasabihin? Di ba? Oh, yun ba yung pastor? Yun ba yung kristyano? So we have to, we have to keep this in mind. We are changed men. Binago tayo ng Panginoon. And we have to have this conscious effort na ano? To conform to His holiness. Yes, mabigat. If you do it on your own, you cannot. But, again, let's go back. God has given us the power, the Holy Spirit. Ano yung trabaho ng Holy Spirit? To comfort us. Kaya ang tawag sa Kanya, comforter. And the Holy Spirit will remind us His, His Word. But, pag ikaw ay isa, halimbawa na, na nag-iisip ka na na gumawa ng masama, whatever the kasamaan is, yung sa isip mo at sa puso mo may bumabagabag at nagsasabi sa iyo, daw siya na. Use the name of the Lord in vain. Yung parang akala mo, ay naalala ko yun, pwede siya ni Pastor. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not, it's not really me. It is the Lord speaking to you, the Holy Spirit reminding you, narinig mo yun sa mensahe, di ba? Simulan sa scripture yun, nabasa yun sa Bible. Pinaalala sa atin ni Pedro. At pinaalala sa iyo ng pastor na, na, na speaker no kanina. It is the word, that is how the Holy Spirit works in us. So, lastly, lastly, we have to recognize this. So, ang ating po, uh, ang ating po trabaho, ibinigay sa atin yan. Ang necessity is laid upon us. But huwag kayo mag-alala because God has sent us the power. God sent us the power to change us. Kasi sabi, hindi ko kaya magpasok, Panginoon. Para kasi musul, Panginoon, ayoko. No, no, no. The, the power of God has given us Uh, it has already given us to change us. We change our as a changed man. We have to make that ano, that conscious effort. Sabi ng ano? Sabi ni Pablo sa Romans uh, 12, if I'm not mistaken. Um, sabi niya, what is your reasonable service? What is your reasonable service? Sa Romans chapter 12, sabi niya doon, renew your mind. Renew your mind. So this is a conscious effort. Uwi mo na yun. When I was, when I was uh, saved, I remember I was 16 years old, 15 years old. Going 16. Uh, anong kasalanan na 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 isip ko nun? I was still 16. So parang nasanay lang ako ng mundo ng kaisipan ko na, ng kasamahan eh. Mga 16 years na. Pero grabe ng impact nun sa buong buhay ko. Galadal ako. Kahit na naligtas na ako, ganun pa rin. Nangungupit pa rin sa pitaka ng nanay. <laughs> pitaka ni tatay. Oh, thanks up. But, but, this, this, I want you to, this is the last one. We are, as changed men, we are bond servants. We are bond servants of the world. No muna, we are servants of sin. Pag-demon na tayo. But, sabi nga ni, ni Timothy chapter, sa, ni, uh, ni Pablo, kay Timothy, in, in Timothy chapter 22, uh, 24 verse 25, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, up to each. Patient and meekness, and suffering those that propose themselves, if God will adventure, will give them repentance, without acknowledging of the truth. I want to, to point is that and the servant of the Lord. 
ikaw yun, ako yun, tayong lahat yun, tayo na binago ng Panginoon, tayo ang servant of the Lord. And that servant means a bond servant. Hindi, hindi tayo magaya ni, 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 ni... We should not be like Moses during his early days. Na, Lord, no. Hindi <laughs> tayo ganun. We are like when the, said, the Lord said something to us today, said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are the yes men of the world. But I, I remember sa, sa, sa parable ng, ng Panginoon Jesus na yung, 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 yung worker na nagtrabaho sa bukid tapos pag uwi sa bahay, yung amo niya sabi, oi, paghain mo ako na prepare my meal, prepare my dinner after working in the fields. Prepare my dinner. And the servant just obeyed the master of the house and then prepared his meal. And then the master eats and he was just there, standing on the side, waiting for whatever the master is going to ask him. And that, that servant says, I am sa taglalo niyo, wala akong silbing lingkod. Kasi ang ginagawa ko lang, yung sinabi lang ng aking mind Anong klase dapat tayo na servant? Na we do not count ourselves as, as worthy servants. Because ang, ang ating uh, Panginoon, ang siyang lumikha ng lahat. Hindi ka, dapat nga, hindi pa niya tayo, hindi na tayo niya sinasabihan. Kaya automatic na yun. Hindi, hindi ko na kailangan na sabihin pa ng Panginoon, oh, mag-witness ka today. Oh, mag-pray ka today. Oh, mag-Bible reading ka today. Hindi na dapat eh. We should be doing that without God pushing us or egging us to do it. Huh? So, realize this, realize this, mga kapatid. As a servant of the Lord, as a servant of the Lord, We have a work laid upon us by God, and this work is not your work. This is God's work. And God gave us the tools. He gave us the Holy Spirit and His Word. That is enough for us to change our lives, to conform our lives to His holiness, and to, to realize who we are. We are servants bad servants of the Lord. When we realize this, then we can perform very easily the command that the Lord has given. Preach repentance and remissions of sin among all nations. Kung gagampanan lang po natin ito, maiisa buhay natin ito hindi magiging mahirap para sa atin magpagbahagi ng salita ng Panginoon. Let us bow our heads again. Pastor Neil, please. Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for the words that you have given us today.